Limerence, dopamine fasts, let's get into it, shall we? Limerence is an overwhelming state of romantic obsession where your brain and nervous system treat one person as your primary source of emotional reward. You feel almost addicted to this person. Every time you see them, every time they interact with you, you feel on cloud nine, giddy and excited. They spike your dopamine. And limerence thrives on these spikes. Unpredictable texting, seeing them only intermittently, inconsistent communication. These are intermittent dopamine hits. Your brain is not addicted to dopamine. It's addicted to the source of those spikes, your limerent other, this other person that causes this feeling in you. That's why limerence comes off as sort of person addiction because that person causes the sudden rise of dopamine within your body. And part of you knows you need to get over this, but that rise in your dopamine, it's hard to let that go. See where I'm going with this? Dopamine fast. This wouldn't be a fast from dopamine in general. Your body can't do that. During dopamine fast, you'll lose the emotional grip that the idea of being with this person has on your dopamine system. When you stop feeding the dopamine spikes, tied to this other person, your brain will let go of them as a sole reward source. Your brain will seek out dopamine in other areas. So how do you do it? For about 30 days, you have to pause the top dopamine triggers fueling your limerence. So think about it, make a list. Stop checking their profile. Step out of fantasy loops. When you find yourself daydreaming about them, you're gonna have to take yourself out of that. Go for a walk, be outside, do a grounding technique. If you use thoughts of them to fall asleep, Listen to a dull fairy tale. You can find those on YouTube. Engage in something else to help you to sleep. And let me know if you need more information about that in the comments below, because that is a hard one. If you have to engage with them, it has to be very dull, business only. Mute them or unfollow them on social media. Try to make it so there's at least two steps before you are able to check their profiles. So you have a chance to kind of pull yourself back. Tell yourself that you're gonna to talk to a friend or a therapist before you phone them. The first 10 to 14 days are gonna to be tough. Your brain's gonna protest with urges. What if, what if I just let go of them and now they're interested? You might really long to text them, to check their social media, but that's the dopamine imbalance talking. Expect the discomfort, don't obey the urge. By week three or four, you're gonna notice a change. The cravings will quiet. Their importance will lessen. Your internal reward system is gonna be recalibrated back to what you're doing, what your interests are, and the typical ways that you get a dopamine surge. A dopamine fast doesn't stop you from getting excited. It restores your ability to be interested in things outside your limb or another, to move forward, to explore, and to eventually connect with someone who can reciprocate. Your limb or attraction isn't gonna die through force. It's gonna dissolve through lack of reinforcement, lack of dopamine spikes. And that's how you start limerence from the root. And I also would use a cord cutting meditation. If you wanna know more about that, let me know in the comments below.